Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. Um, today, I'm bringing you a swatch and a mini review on the new Urban Decay Spectrum Eyeshadow Palette. Eyeshadow palette. So, it comes with, and I have my notes as well, it comes with 15 full-sized new eyeshadows. First, let's take a look at what we're working with here this is really gorgeous it's a matte kind of type cover with the embossed um the jeweled urban decay logo you open it these are the shadows it's upside down these are the shadows and it also has a mirror on the inside i haven't taken the plastic off as of yet so i haven't used that um this also, this piece also comes out and it can be, you can use it as your jewelry box when you're done with the eyeshadow cases, the, the eyeshadows itself. Um, like I said, it's 15 new eyeshadow summary promotes from other Vice palettes, um, but they're all limited edition. If you don't have one of the Vice palettes, one, two, three, four, the limited then you would have to get this because obviously all of the other Vice palettes, except for the four, they're discontinued. They don't have them anymore. So let's get into it. Today I used Omen on, as my lid color, which is this color right here. And so it's five, what it says, five new shades for permanent shades. And six shades from other palettes. Like I said, it's limited edition. They're mostly out of the old Vice palettes. If you don't have them, then get this. It's really worth it. It's $55 retail. I got mine through Sephora. They had it on sale for VIB and VIB Rouge only. I believe this does come out on the Urban Decay website October 20th. So stay tuned and look out for that. There's a lot of shimmer, glitter and as well as frosted eyeshadows as you can tell you have your greens and it flows into your blues your purples to your pinks to your neutral colors so this is very versatile for any type of look that you're trying to use um there's no matte shades let's get into the colors the colors seem to be a little let me see no this one swatches really well look at that color on all swatches really well so there is a little fallout like when I swipe omen if you can see there in the corner there's this fallout it's not much when I used it on my brush earlier today it wasn't too bad so let's get into the swatches guys and let's see what we have this protest let me see protest omen and madness so this is madness this is Omen and this is protest. So as you can see they swatch really well. Look at the look at the colors. Really, really pretty. And protest is a golden they descri it's described as a golden forest green shimmer. Um yeah, they say it's buildable in texture and it lasts for eight hours. We'll see. I'm not gonna have mine off for eight hours as right now it's 448 so pretty much when I'm done with this video probably my makeup is coming off at 8 o'clock tonight because I'm not really even going nowhere um okay junkie which I didn't swatch on my finger junkie which is the next color over is described as a teal green shimmer with a brightened blue tealing wait bluing teal with a frosted finish so junkie is pretty much this color here she's this is gorgeous this is a really 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 pretty color um oh and it doesn't come off as you can see I wiped my finger and it's still it's still there it's not gonna come off unless you have a makeup wipe the next one is deep end which is this one in the corner deep end is described as a bright teal shimmer with a frosted finish then you have Madness, which is here, which is a bright, a bright, bright, a bright blue metallic shimmer with blue micro glitter. Let's see. Did I show you guys that one? I think I did. 
yeah this is very much a shimmer I don't know about the micro glitter I haven't used this color yet as you can tell I just opened it today and the only color that I used on my eyes today was almond so we'll see how that pans out later and then junky oh wait no evidence evidence is described this one is evidence Evidence is described as a deep navy blue shimmer with cool undertones and a pearly sheen. Okay, let's see. Oh yeah, this is this is pretty. And at the end of the video, I will have the colors up against my skin tone so you can see how it works for us chocolate girls. Because some colors, you know, just are ashy or they wash us out or they just don't look good on us so colors are not meant for everybody but I will show you what they look like against our type of skin tone NW45 and up so that way you guys can get a glimpse of what it is next color that we're gonna look at is prank which is this one and it's a deep navy matte with turquoise floating Pearl. It's described as a muted black and blue with a green shimmer with a matte over a matte finish. So it's over a matte finish. So it's not matte. So yeah, you'll see the green, the green um glitter reflex in that one. If you can see that there. Um, next up is Omen which I said I have on my lid now and it's described as a bright metallic purple with blue shift hmm lavender purple with a frosted sheen it's definitely a frosted sheen um it's a lavender yeah it definitely does have that blue reflex in it that's this right here I don't know if you guys can see that, but I'll have pictures up towards the end. My fingers are getting really disgusting. Now we have Flashback. Flashback to me looks like it's a glitter. So Flashback is this one here, which is this one right here. Okay? And it's described as a bright deep purple with pink sparkle. It's a medium violet purple with a soft rust finish so let me see it looks to me in the pan it looks like it's ton it's glittery as hell so let's see what that looks like on the finger oh yeah no it's a frost okay and then next to that is voodoo if anybody knows voodoo was in the vice 2 palette and i have the vice 2 palette and i dropped it and that was the only color that shattered i was i was heartbroken Um, so Voodoo is described as a purple metallic shimmer with iridescent purple micro glitter. So, this one, I don't know why I keep using the same finger all over again. You guys can't see what it looks like that way. Okay, this is, this is what it looks like. Oh, yes. You see that color? Do you see that color there on my finger? Oh my gosh. Look at what it looks like over the skin. Oh, that's beautiful. That is a beautiful, beautiful color. The next color I am going to talk about is Flatline, which is this color right here. And Flatline is described as a metallic pale pink. It's a bright and light pink with warm yellowish undertones and a metallic sheen. Um, I'm not really into pinks. I have the Naked 3 palette, which is more of like a rosy nude. I don't gravitate towards that as much. I don't know why I really, like, pink is like my ultimate color. Sorry, I thought I saw something on the floor. So, yes, this is a very pale pink frost. Um, it says that it has a metallic sheen, which it does. But... It's more metallic and to me it looks like a frost I mean it may translate once you put it on as a metallic maybe if you wet it a little bit oh yeah it, it does it's a it's a metallic as soon as I put my finger on the tissue it looked like metal 
And the next one is Bordello, which is this one right here next to Flatline. Bordello. And Bordello is described as a pale mauve shimmer with gold micro glitter. Who is calling me? Unavailable. Sorry. So let's see what this looks like. It says it's a purpley plum with warm undertones and a copper sparkle. This might be good with like a brown smoky eye. And of course I dragged my nail in it. That's great, right? And this color is beautiful. Let's swatch you right there. Oh my gosh. If you can see that, that's that's it right there. That's Bordello. Okay. Um, the next one is Backlash, which is described as a bright pink with orange floating pearl. It's bright and fuchsia pink with cool bluish pearl. Um, let's see. Track my nail into it. Evidently, my nails are a little too long. Oh, this is beautiful. This is another beautiful color. So, that's this, and this this is backlash on my arm, and it looks like it's a, like a purpley iridescent as well as it reflects off of my arm with the light. It's very very very. That might be one of my new favorite colors, as I like everything in the pink family. Don't judge me. This is a no judgment zone. Thank you. <laughs> the next color I have is Daybreak, and that's this color right here. And it's described as a soft bronze with silver glitter. It's a warm brown with warm undertones and micro glitter. So let's swatch this and see what this looks like in Daybreak. There is fallout. I'm sure that's only because probably my nail is dragging in it or I don't know. But hopefully it doesn't translate when you use your brush. But this is what it looks like on finger. And I might be running out of spaces on my arm. Oh, she's pretty. So this is daybreak here. This is what daybreak looks like, guys. Okay? This is very, very, very pretty. Especially if you're going for, like, a nude, sparkly brown smoky eye. That would be awesome. Um, two more colors left. The next one is burn. And burn is described as, and this one is burn here. The one at the bottom. The middle bottom. Burn is described as a medium golden brown shimmer. It's a medium brown with warm yellow undertones and a metallic sheen. So let's see. To me, it translates as it's a glitter. This is what it looks like on the finger as I guess I did a heavy swatch. And it, I guess it has, it blends in perfectly with my skin skin color it seems this is it right here this this one right here and it looks like it has a bunch of it's just glitter I don't know I guess if you want to use this like as a lid color us brown girls can just you know use it as a brown color and it will just have that sparkle translating all over the place I mean that's all well enough to do up to you um the only fallout, yeah, I didn't really, let me see, yeah, there's not much fallout, but they feel buttery soft. They feel like butter. And the last color is West, and West is described as a deep metallic brown shimmer. It's a deepened reddish brown with warm undertones and a frosted finish. So let's see what she looks like. She looks like a brown shimmer, so let's see. Hands are sticky. Okay, so that's just one swipe on my finger, and then we'll do this one on this side. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you see that? So it looks like a purplish brown. That's what it actually, it doesn't say that. It says a reddish brown 
it looks like it has more purple in it like a deeper purple but it's really gorgeous this may go good as a smoky eye like if you mixed west in with this one was daybreak as the use west as the crease color use daybreak as the lid color it looked like it would really really be really really pretty so that's all for um the colors pretty much you can only get these colors right now from sephora if you're a vib or a vib rouge like i said mine came in the mail on friday i ordered mine on wednesday that's when it was available it's limited edition once again um and just be on the lookout if you're not either of those with um sephora They'll have it on sale on Urban Decay's website exclusively October 20th. It retails for $55. And guys, it's well worth it. If you're into Urban Decay shadows, just like I am with the color, the glitter, this palette is for you. So, until next time, have a good day. Bye. Thanks for watching.